what's the ultimate destination for the US economy. Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder and in this week's IG Macro Intelligence, we explain the three scenarios confronting the US, a soft landing, a hard landing, and a no landing. A soft landing can be broadly defined as one where interest rates are high and inflation falls, but the slowdown in economic activity and job losses are only mild. A soft landing doesn't necessarily mean avoiding a recession. However, any recession would be mild and the economy would return to a steady expansion shortly afterwards. Following recent CPI data, which revealed inflation is falling towards the Fed's target faster than previously thought possible, along with continued strength in the US labor market, markets are pricing in reasonable odds of a soft landing. The headline inflation rate was 3% in June, while the unemployment rate remains at 3.6% and near multi-decade lows. The US equity market appears to be pricing in a soft landing, with the S&P 500 earnings expected to expand going forward and at an especially healthy rate in the calendar year 2024. If a soft landing materialises for the US economy, it would probably be supportive of risk assets like equities. Although a recession does drag on earnings growth, arguably the S&P 500 has already experienced the contraction following two quarters of negative profits in Q4 2022 and Q1 2023, and a likely third in a row this quarter. A hard landing can be characterized by a sharp and deep recession in response to aggressive monetary policy tightening. Inflation would likely return to target and in a relatively quick fashion. However, growth would contract significantly and job losses would be large. Under this scenario, the US economy would experience a technical recession of two successive quarters of negative GDP growth. More importantly, it would justify a decision from the National Bureau of Economic Research to call an official recession. Given the recent spate of strong economic numbers and moderation in inflation, the odds of a hard landing have arguably diminished. The US yield curve is deeply inverted, however, with the spread between the 10-year and 2-year yield falling to its lowest point in four decades recently. The ISM Manufacturing Index also suggests that the US economy is nosediving towards a significant slowdown. Although resilience in services activity, mostly as consumers continue to spend significant savers buffers, could counter this downturn. Given the markets are expecting a soft landing for the US economy, a rapid slowdown in growth would come as a nasty shock. US equities would fall as earnings expectations readjust. Growth sensitive commodities like oil, copper and iron ore would go into reverse. The most downside risk, however, could materialize in yen crosses. Although the USD Japanese yen could rise if any slowdown manifests in financial stress, higher beta currencies like the AUD JPY would fall as volatility spikes, yields drop, and commodity prices fall. The latest spate of strong US data has sparked the re emergence of the so called no landing scenario for the US economy. Although counterintuitive, a low, no landing scenario would see inflation fall and the US economy re-accelerate and avoid recession. No hard indicator signals that such an outcome is unfolding, and the scenario relies on an imminent return of both headline and core inflation to target, not to mention steady employment growth and a greater expansion in corporate profits. A no landing scenario would also require the pricing out of the slight easing implied in the rates curve, which itself could inspire a rotation in equity markets towards more cyclical assets, reversing the year's outperformance of growth stocks over value stocks. A no landing scenario in the United States would be the most bullish for markets and would spur further strength in equities. The rally would drive a broader rally for the S&P 500, while the cyclical Dow Jones and Russell 2000 would experience outperformance. Commodity prices would also likely rise considering a likely weaker US dollar and oil, copper and iron ore would lift as economic activity improves. That would be a major tailwind for the Aussie dollar and other high beta currencies.